What's going on peeps, Joshua here, and on today's mission, 2004 Dodge Neon 2.0 Alternator, which is tucked in down here, a couple bolts up top, I think one down below or something like that. Anyway, it'll come out through the wheel well, but scope this out. Ha ha ha. I'm not even convinced because I have not had an opportunity to diagnose this vehicle. Um that it was even an alternator issue scope that out peep so this terminal for the battery is completely shagged and broken and of course when you put it on here i mean it just wiggles freely because one it's cracked on this end and of course as you just saw the lower end is all rotted out it's so number one this definitely needs a new terminal period plain and simple um hmm this i did not bring any tools expecting this kind of dilemma however uh, there's some copper in there um it's just not in good shape it's not in good shape at all uh so yeah this project is going to be an interesting one being that i'm faced with this dilemma here uh so yeah i'll just have to keep y'all posted but like i said Without being able to do a proper diagnosis and this battery unfortunately is all the way down at like one and a half volts which is it's gonna need a full-on trickle charge before I can even put any power to it because if I try and dump any load on it with too high of amperage coming off a donor vehicles battery with it running there's a strong likelihood this could fry the cells in here plus I'll have to check the levels since this is one that I can look at the electrolyte level in there check the fluid level of the battery see what's going on make sure it's okay but that battery might not be salvageable and the alternator may have never been the problem this could have been the linchpin that you know well let's say it's the grenade pin it got pulled and things started getting real funky so that's where i'm at with this one like i said i'm gonna have to investigate some more but i'm here best i can do is get the alternator replaced at this point and uh just go from there Hopefully I can get them to get this battery charged before attempting to start this vehicle. Um, and maybe, just maybe my buddy can run it to a parts store or maybe a local auto shop. See if they can at least put it on charge for a few hours, a couple hours at least, while I uh, knock out the alternator over there. Because while I'm here, they have the part. Might as well get it replaced regardless. And uh, But still, I, don't, I think... Um, Barking up the wrong tree, as it can be said, peeps. I think right here was the whole dilemma. You know, never outsmart yourself, peeps. That KISS principle, you've heard it. Keep it simple, smarty, and don't outsmart yourself. So, generally, in life, it's the simple things. Like repenting and believing, and turning to Yehosha with your heart, mind, and soul. It's the simple things. All right, peeps, I'll return when I get things figured out. All right, so a quick update again, peeps. There you go. This right here is the issue that really started facilitating this and caused out caused that wire to burn up like that. These kits are just notoriously horrible on vehicles. I mean, I've seen it from motorcycles to cars to trucks. These things are garbage. I highly do not recommend them unless they come from a 100% reputable source that has uh, just a long upstanding record in the industry of aftermarket lighting for vehicles because man you order these things from flea bay or wish app or amazon they're garbage they cause problems and not to say that this wasn't already a problem just due to the fact that it was old and corroded but i can tell you right now this reason why this got hot in the circuitry is due to these aftermarket lamps. They're just garbage. Stay away from them. Avoid them like the Covey peeps. All right, I'm back to it. Gonna get this alternator. All right, peeps, little quick update. So this is the back side of the alternator. I am underneath the vehicle to perform this little portion of the task, but you've got to remove this electrical socket here. And then of course, remove this. All right, that is one alternator removed from a 2004 Dodge Neon. So what you will have to do, peeps, is remove the little bracket that goes from here. 
to here and then the actual alternatory bracket which fits somewhere up in there like such that bracket will have to be removed as well and bada bing bada boom put it back in reverse order and uh i won't really be able to update on this one because there's some other dilemmas that won't be able to be taken care of at the moment however once uh my buddy gets it all running again i will get a hold of this car and do an inspection on it just to see what's up so that'll just be an update video down the road for the time being just gonna get this alternator replaced and we're gonna boogie back on back home and get out of the rain peeps all glory to the lord for the shelter today it has been brilliant all right go love thy neighbors i'm out of here